Alright, we'll see you too. Welcome back to part 14 of my walkthrough of Mafia Definitive Edition. In the last part, a good amount of stuff happened. One of the things that happened was Tommy ended up killing a politician that I think was running for mayor. And the most important thing that happened was during the intermediate, Tommy was having a conversation with that one dude. And one of the things that came up was if he let him and his family walk, he'll give him the books that Frank was trying to steal and give as a tip off to let him walk. Tommy said that he would give him those same books if he let him and his family walk away. Now, that's present time, which according to the dates, looks like it happens around the same time. Not too far after Tommy kills a politician. So this next few missions should like start slowly wrapping everything up. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right back in and see what happens to the next one. Let's get it. Yeah, it's great, boss. And this is just a taste. I got a line on a whole shipment of Cameroons that have been impounded by customs. You guys are going to grab them. You want us to boost cigars? Something wrong with that? Customers in our nightclubs are paid through the nose for quality cigars. Still, it seems, I don't know, small time. I just knew you were a smart one, Tom. Can't put nothing past you. Small time is exactly right. That's how it's supposed to look, anyhow. The cigars are just a cover for a shipment of hot ice. The smuggled diamonds have been hidden in some of the boxes. The feds haven't found them yet. We're stealing diamonds from the feds? Don't worry about it. I've already discussed all the details with Sam here. He'll fill you in. Now, I got a meeting with the mayor at his favorite gentleman's club. Work out the details together. But I want those cigars back here before anyone catches on to the real loot. You got it? Sure, boss. Great. And don't drink all the good stuff while I'm gone. You know about this. Boss and I worked it out last night. We got a plan. Now, I'm not saying it's a good plan, but it won't get us killed. Probably. So what, then? We got a guy on the inside or something? No. We got to do this on our own. And it'll be rough. Cigars are packed in crates at the harbor. Shit. The place will be crawling with security. Yeah. Brute force won't work. We gotta play this one cool. So we're gonna steal a customs truck. Slip right in. Christ. I'm gonna kill the poor bastard driver. No. We'll just scare him a bit. All we need is his paperwork. Right. We don't need the hassle of dumping a body. Come on. See if we can get eyes on a customs truck down by the docks. You alright, Tom? Yeah. Just trying to figure out the angle is up. What's there to figure? Boss says a job needs doing, we're doing it. Just seems like a lot to put on the line. Even for some diamonds. The feds pinch us. We can do serious time. Then let's make sure we don't get caught. Right? Yeah. Got gear for the job stashed down near the harbor. If either of you need something special, go see Vinny. All I need is a stiff drink. For Christ's sake, Polly, just lay off for one night, please. All right. The set is, he said we can see Vinny. Come on. Let's go. So I know he always has a stash of guns in the back. Might as well check it out. Business tonight, Tom. 
take whatever you need. I appreciate it. What you got here? Huh, pretty good amount of stuff, but I'm just going to take the usual, the Tommy gun, and go pistol. That's all I need. Remember when you got made? Shaking down stores, whacking small time punks. Feels a long time. The job don't change, Vinny. One dead guy is the same as the next. I like how he's still talking even though he already left. I'm in the vehicle. Me nervous playing around with your piece like that. Sorry, it's got a lot on my mind as well. <laughs> that show, I'd have figured there wasn't enough room up there. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, assholes. You guys are a don. I don't think I got plans, but you're wrong. You got big plans. Yeah, spill it then. What are you working on? Been thinking about hitting up a savings and loan downtown. You want to rob a bank? Sure. I've been casing the place for months. I got it all worked out. I just need a few guys I can count on to watch my back. We're robbing a bank that's a little out of our league. We're robbing the fucking feds, ain't we? What's the difference? Well, Salieri's the goddamn difference, you nitwit. The Don sent us to steal these cigars. There ain't no way he sanctions a bank job. Well, then we don't tell him. You want to step out on the done? No. Not really. We can cut him in after we make the score. He'll be bent, sure. But he won't stay mad once he gets his share. I don't know, Paul. Yeah, I fucking know. You do what you want. I won't say nothing. Yeah, I owe you that much. But Salieri, when he finds out you're going behind his back, you'll be planted right next to Morello. You ask me, there ain't no hall worth that. He's right, Polly. You bring it to the Don, or let it go. Yeah. Just get to daydreaming, you know. Wake up. We're here. Tom, we take the car. Find a custom truck and meet us near the impound. Me and Polly, we'll go get the rest of the gear. Right. You got your head together. Yeah. Sober as a priest. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, quit busting my balls. I'm good. Find and steal a custom truck. Yeah, search for search the work scooter. Oh, so is this whole area. So your little area. Okay, it was gonna probably take a minute. Oh wait, I see something right here that popped up. Is this it? Looks like it. Go ahead and hop in. Oh, we got still Okay, makes sense. Now we gotta drive back to Sam and Polly. That was pretty quick. They ain't, they don't drag out these missions at all, do they? <laughs> like they're straight to the point. How the heck does Sam and Polly get all the way over here that fast? They just happen to be able to teleport or something. Park up over there, Tom.
Where's my uniform? Huh? Uh, this is all we got, pal. Besides, there's only room for two in the cap. You can ride in the back. Make sure you keep your head down. This whole thing is blown. Forget about it. I know when to keep my head down. Mm. Make you say that to all the girls. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get moving. All right, all right. Jesus Christ. Right, You're comfortable this, back there, Tom? What this the camera hell do you angle, think? What's the plan like when I'm we gonna get start to the info? People. I don't know. We look for crates that came from Cameroon or something. The cigar place. You know how big the impound is. Relax. It'll be empty this time of night. We'll have the run of the place. Can't get my weapon wheel, so maybe not yet. Hmm. Hey, you got your papers? Ah, uh, crap. Uh, yeah. Uh, Pete, you got the papers? The dash. What was that? What was what? What? Here you go, pal. All right, go through. Busy night tonight. You might not find a spot. <laughs> Hear that? There's gonna be right, guys everywhere. Through. It'll be fine. We just gotta think on our feet. Thinking on my feet is my worst thing, Sam. You know that. We got a few guards here. This guy looks like he what might be a problem. What you guys call this? We need to have gone through these shipments by sunup. Yeah. Sorry, we couldn't find our papers. But we found them again. Just show us what to do, pal. We're no. We're all new, buddy. It's just that some of us know what time we got a clock in. Come with me. All right, do I gotta, like, follow them? Or... Okay, Tom, looks like it's on you. Get into the warehouse and find a cigar crate that's hiding the diamonds. Okay. They keep records on everything here, so search their files. You're looking for Cameroon cigars that came in on a boat called the Bohemia. Ship docked on Tuesday, 23rd. Got that? Yeah. Don't get caught. Don't get seen. Come find us when you're done. All right. Ooh, this is going to be a little stealth mission. All right, so find a way into the customs impound. Don't get caught. Don't get seen. I forgot the boat name. All I remember is it started with a D. And came the Tuesday the 23rd. That's all the information I remember. Gunfire would raise an alarm, of course. guys working overtime tonight. Needle in a haystack ain't even the fucking word. Oh, we got two guys here. Anything out of place. No way are we gonna get through all these crates. Not even in a week. So you get paid for a week. Quit complaining. Alright, can I take this guy out? Yeah. Okay. Got that one. What about this one? Alright, nice. A little bit of stealth action right there. Okay, hop on this. Hey, okay, so far so good. This window open? Yeah, it is. Perfect. We got here. That was a note. What does it say? Custom search note. How we? I took a cigar crate out of the warehouse. I have a hunch some of the cameras were impounding when the. Bohemia dock might be hiding what we're looking for. When you come in, get into the warehouse, check the rest of the boxes. See you in the morning. Good luck. Okay. Huh. This will help. The crates are in the warehouse. Come on, fellas. Let's speed this up. Once we're done with the small crates, we start cracking open the big ones next door. Money's good. Boy, these feds are assholes. Must have been through a hundred boxes already. Fuck me, fucking tired of this one. <coughs> All right, got him. Let's see, 
Looks like there's a collectible over here. So there's workers on there. I wonder if that's where the, the cigar crates are going to be at. Oh yeah, question mark right here. What's this? Oh, file cabinet. What are we looking for in here? Oh, was a note. It lists the shipments. Uh, oh, yeah, the Bohemian cigars. Uh, storage D2. Interesting. Uh, storage D2. This is another note. None of this is any use. Uh, so that was pointless. What about here? That was another note. Orders from FBI. Urgent. We have become aware of unknown and high value contraband currently passing through the Lost Haven Federal Customs Impound Facility. It is vital that you conduct a search through all impounded goods immediately. Time is short. Failure to uncover the illicit materials could result in failure of prosecutions here in Empire Bay. Detective Joseph Grove. Dang, so we got the freaking FBI involved in this, so this is definitely, definitely, uh, not small time, that's for sure. I right, got some more. Is this more useless information? Nah. Nice. Nothing. Appreciate that. Nazi demands met in Munchen. That was a newspaper article. Uh, another collectible. Okay, keep heading this way. So let's have to go that way. How many guys we got down here? Make sure we don't get caught. Ooh, we got one over here. Then you'll be in the big house by sun up. Back oh, we got another one right there. Alright. Is this open? It is. Oh, okay. hey. oh, oh no, no, oh, bruh. Like no. Dang it. That's what I get for punching the air. Right. So I made it back to where I was. I still got that hop right there. Or security guard, whatever. I try to get behind him, take him out. Nice and slow. There you go. Alright, good. I just gotta climb up these, well, walk up these stairs. Ah, crap. Place is huge. Okay, boys, check each crate, then we start cracking them open. There's hundreds. Then lucky you. Have an all night to... I got another note here. All right. Uh. This will help. Then we got a lot of people here. We just gotta go nice and slow and take every single one of these guys out. Pretty much how it's gonna go down. Unless I can kind of weave around them, because that's actually kind of a lot of guys to take out. Uh, I go here. We got here a collectible. All right. Um, says we gotta go down a floor. I don't know how that. If we go down a floor without being seen. All right, this is a perfect time to go. All right, nice, we made it. Was in here? Oh, no cigars, cigars, no diamonds. Bro, there's so many guys. <laughs> Is 
Let's just do it quick. Ooh, yeah, we almost got caught. Can they see? Okay, they can't see from over there. Good. Nothing in here. Okay. On to the next one. Alright. Eyes, okay. This one. Nope. Keep turning up squat. I'll take you out. Oh wait, we got four crates around here. Has to be one of these. Probably gonna be one over here where it's like a bunch of light on it and it's like right next to an exit. Yep. Found them. Alright. Where do we go? Open this door. There he is. You sure we're getting what we came for? We're aces, boys. Good. Let's get them loaded and get out of here. <laughs> That's the last of them. Let's dangle. I'm not riding in the back again. You're a better wheelman anyway. Just don't drive us into the bay. Shit. You hear that? Okay, Tom. Got it. Let's right, go, go. Let's go. Jesus, Tom. It ain't comfortable back here, huh? Come on. Through the gates. Hey, Ram them. There's been a break in at the Central Coastal Impound. Suspects are escaping in a customs truck. I want roadblocks everywhere. <laughs> Every cop in town's gonna be on their way. So let's get out of sight, fast as you can, Tom. Road's closed up ahead. Find another way. If we get seen, they'll race hell. Hey, I heard it's already so low. Bunch of roadblocks. Okay, where are we going? Look the right. Uh, I don't know. Anyone see the truck? Call in with you, fellas. Okay, so far so good. Anyone see the truck? Call in with you, fellas. Man, they keep spawning more and more. How many cops they got out here? Gotta take a different route. No, please don't see me. I made it way too far. Oh, let's go. They went. They went that way. Just the garage. Where are they? We'll oh, we gotta go to the warehouse. Okay. Uh, feels like we left them behind. Yeah, hopefully. Where the hell were you back in the compound? We were about to give up. The place was a maze. It's a miracle I found the crates. Next time we pull something like this, we need a better plan. More information. A better plan? He got the ice, didn't he? Yeah, but next time... Well, next time what? We run it all through you? The scores like these are your best thing? Guys, I'm trying to drive here. Let's get back to the warehouse without LHPD on our tail, huh? Sure. We got the diamonds, the boss will be happy. That's all that matters right now. Those rocks had better be as big as the goddamn rich for all the crates we had to move tonight. All right. Next we're in the clear. I just gotta head over there. Hey Polly! You okay? Yeah! Yeah, a couple of these crates are shot to shit though! How bad is it? It's the worst of it. Ah, it don't look too good. Don's gonna be pissed if we ruined any of the cigars. What the hell? Christ. It's dope. 
You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Where are the diamonds? There ain't any. This is the real score. No, 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 no. Don said we would get diamonds. You can open every box. You're not going to find them. We put our fucking necks out on the line for this shit. Looks like it. You better cool off, Polly. The Don's coming. Shit. We don't say nothing about this to the Don. Okay, if he wanted us to know, he would have told us. He should have come clean. Sure, but for now, we keep our trap shut. Right? Yeah, okay. Polly? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I ain't saying nothing. Any problems, boys? One of the crates got a little banged up, is all. All right? Oh, doesn't look too bad. Might have lost a few cigars, but otherwise the merchandise should be okay, boss. Besides, ain't diamonds supposed to be the hardest thing around? Outside of my cock, maybe. Well, bravo, boys, bravo. You all got a well-deserved bonus coming your way. You want us to unload the crates into the warehouse? No, you can take a powder. These morons are gonna take it from here. You sure? What I say. Okay, boss. We'll dangle. Sam, give me a lift back to the bar. Sure, boss. You guys coming? Now nah, we'll take the train. Okay. See you later. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? I already told you. The bank. Yeah. I don't care what Sam says. I'm getting that score. How much you figure? You want in? We're just talking. I knew I could count on you, pal. So which bank? Grand Imperial. Their North Park meets downtown. Yeah, been there. A while back. Well, the security don't look tight. Easy getaway. Tellers who don't look like they put up a fight. Can't do it alone. Maybe. I'm not moving Black Tar for the Don. Especially if he's not cutting us in. And... I don't know. I just never want to be in that street again. What street? On my knees. Watching some poor skirt burn just because she got in our way. It was the wrong place in the wrong time. Just tough luck. Seems there ain't no other kind with us. I'm telling you, Tom, this is perfect. I wouldn't ask you to come in on this if I didn't think it was our ticket. We'll see. I'm not signing up for the job until I see what's what. If I get pinched, Sarah's done with me. You got a family to look after. I get that. But think about what this could mean for them. Watch it, buddy. You're treading into enemy territory without a map. Yeah. I don't know what it's like for you going home to your wife and kid. But that's why I'm doing this. Who's gonna marry me? I'm nearly 40 years old and nothing to show for it but my rap sheet. But we do this? I get enough scratch to finally get out? Who knows? You're not built for the domestic life, Polly. Well, six months in, you'll put a bullet in your brain out of boredom. Christ. I'm ready to punch my ticket right now. We sit around for six months, just playing cards and busting balls, and I start to get lazy. Then everything blows up, and I gotta knock the rust off or I'm dead. One day I'm fighting to stay awake while the Don's telling us a story about the old days. One I've already heard a hundred times, and the next day, the next day I'm getting shot at. I'm trying to keep from shit in my pants. It's fucking wearing me out, Tommy. Still looking for the big one, though. 
I know, it's a snipe hunt. Every little monster goes to bed dreaming about that last big score. But if we do this thing, I don't know. Might be just enough to get me a little pizzeria or something, you know? Sure. But if we're doing this, we're waiting until things calm down. Ah, you're already hooked, pal. Maybe. submission just for relaxation and the main thing that happened was we ended up getting the shipments that had the scars in them the only thing is that there weren't diamonds that was inside the crates it ended up being smack if you know the lingo i don't want to say the other word just in case youtube tries to like pull something but that would have been a lot worse if we would have gotten caught also makes it makes sense why the FBI was involved. And then whenever the dawn showed up, everybody agreed to keep their mouth shut. And it looked like the dawn was like trying to hide something by not letting us help him unload the stuff. So now Polly and Tommy are planning a heist. The big one you could say. You know, enough money to disappear. Don't know how the rest of the story's gonna end up, but Hopefully, Sam and Paulie make it out okay, because from the present time, we don't know anything yet, but we'll find out in the next one. If you haven't checked out the previous parts of this walkthrough, got the playlist right here on the screen. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so. Don't forget to hit post notifications so you get notified when the next part to this walkthrough comes out. Make sure to leave, let me know if you think Paulie and Sam are going to come out okay after everything is said and done. Other than that, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.